Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and to another studio vlog. I'm literally sat on the floor because Tom's cutting the mystery and I just wanted to start the vlog because it's Wednesday um, and I've been doing plan with me's this week so I've been using my camera like Monday, Tuesday like at the desk so I haven't actually started the vlog to film a few clips but I wanted to say hello, welcome to another vlog. Hello to you as well. This week um, we're doing mystery, new releases were designed at the weekend, I think I showed you Harry. <laughs> moving my camera. I think I showed you um, the two designs, like a Hanukkah one and a Christmas one. They're so cute. I feel like we're super overexposed, but it's only going to be a short clip. But I did want to show you. I got some Happy Mail. So excited. It was from the Coffee Monsters Co. birthday or anniversary sale. I can't remember which. Um, I got the bundle. It was very speedy. I think it sold out like within a minute. Um, there was a lot of issues at checkout because Shopify put people in a queue. I've never seen Shopify put people in a queue before. That was super weird. Um, luckily I wasn't in the queue for very long and I like checked straight out so it was actually really good for me but I think a few people had issues. But I wanted to show you some of what I picked up. I did put all the stickers away that I ordered, like the individual emoji sheets, because it was just so much and I wanted to put it away before my plan with me so that I could actually use them. But it came with a really cute postcard. It says, I just want pens and notepad. I just want pens and notebooks and stationery for my birthday, which is super relatable. It came with a little freebie for August. You've got like um, a bedtime. I miss my bed, catch up on sleep, and like a face, like planting the desk emoji. And then, I think this was part of the bundle. So this is in, oh, I haven't even got everything. There was also like a pen pouch that I didn't bring with me. Um, there's a cute birthday sheet. There's a foiled sheet, which is so cute. It's like a premium mat. It's got like, um, I guess these are kind of like hobbies. Helen's favourite things, that's so cute. Um, and then there was two washi tapes. There's a little emoji heads one and like a yellow birthday themed one. Is it even focusing? Look, so cute. And I think the top one has gold foil. There was a cute little pin badge, which just says in my bubble. Sorry about the glare. And then, this is what I was super excited about, it is the sticker album. Um, the design is just so cool, it's like stationery all over it. And at the back is just a gradient. And it came with dividers. So these are like, um, like a plasticky, I don't know what you would describe it. It's like a, um, kind of like the sticker albums that I make, like that kind of material, but it's very thin. So those are the dividers. And then inside, you've got these like plastic wallets with two compartments and it's just one-sided I think but I thought this would be really good for storing die cuts so that's what I put in here now and these are also some die cuts that I ordered and ones that I got as freebies and uh, oh there's a little magnetic bookmark so this was also in the bundle so I got 10 sheets of the protectors um, and then I've got loads of dividers at the back that I haven't used I kind of wish I'd picked up more of the like sticker pouch protector things but I didn't think about it at the time and then they were sold out. And then it also came with a little zipped pouch, it says little bits and it's just got like um, a ziplock thingy. And yeah, it's just really cute and I think this is going to be good for, I don't want to put all my stickers in it because I don't think I'm going to be able to fit them in especially because I didn't get as many like page protectors as I should have. But I think for like dividers, um, more special sheets, like I'll probably put this sheet in there because this isn't one that I'm going to be pulling all the time but it would be good to have it like in a, a special place um but yeah I just wanted to show you because it's so cute I'm really happy with it so yeah I'm gonna go and do some doodle designs um pack orders today I think and hopefully Tom will finish the mystery so I can collate that get it ready to ship um got some mystery art back I got the December mystery art I think so excited looks really cute I've got all those plan with me's to edit and voiceover. I think I might do like two a week until I get a bit caught up. I'm hoping to be like super up to date with my plan with me. So like, so it's Wednesday now, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. I'm hoping to plan tomorrow. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll plan on Monday. So I'm hoping to be like that current that the videos are going up like a few days after the week ended. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep that up. I think for it to work, I'm gonna have to not get behind and be very consistent. But if I do manage to do that, it's not a lot of work twice a week. 
because it's just doing like half a spread at once. I don't know, that's what I'm hoping to try and do, um, but we'll see. <laughs> So these are our new doodles, we've got earphones, paw prints, nail clippers, for like pets, um, shampoo and like what hair wash kind of shampoo stickers with a little hairbrush, we've got cats in like different colours, I think I only had them in like a brown colour before, we've got like meal subscription boxes, these were requested for like HelloFresh and stuff like that, um, and little backpacks. I'm just making this tea and coffee for the second time because the first time I forgot to boil the kettle. So I made it with cold water. But how cute is my pumpkin mug? I am packing up the mystery as we speak. So that is why I'm just filming me and what I'm doing. I really hope the cellar is not too loud. I'll pass the MIT, which I'm really pleased about. I feel like the car is getting to the point where like, it's not old, but it's not like new enough where I don't worry about it failing anymore. <laughs> so I'm really pleased that it passed. We do need to replace the rear tires, but that's like, it's not like a major issue, I guess, if they passed it. I'm gonna do it soon though. I did get a decent amount of designing done. I've done some of the advent. Um, like I've planned all the advent, which is like the big, um, like brain heavy work I guess so I just need to design it now and I've started but like I've done like the worst part first so <laughs> I'm pleased about that and I've also done some more of my planning notes notepads which are these ones if you don't know what they are um I've done some different designs because I lost the file for this when I lost all my files so I couldn't just make like new ones easily but I put it back together and it wasn't that bad this is the little arm thing that I film with um for when I pack orders so I get like the bird's eye view it's very useful, my phone just sits in the top. But yeah, um, I've been filming a little bit more on my phone. It's more convenient than the camera. The only problem is I feel like the audio is a bit rubbish, so this clip might not be great. Also, like the quality is just not as good, but I don't think my, my camera is particularly good quality anyway, so it's probably the same. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish doing the mystery and then I think we're gonna play some Fall Guys because the new season is out. I don't really like follow the seasons. I didn't know there was a new or an old one, but we're gonna do that. <laughs>
podcast but we've done the mystery and new releases alive i'm gonna put these in bags and take them to the post office now we also had multicolor movie marquees this week which have been requested for a long time i finally got around to doing them and they're so cute so they're in my like rainbow and then my seasonal colorway so you've got spring summer autumn oops autumn and winter as well so me and a couple of friends have ordered some silhouette cutting mats from china because they were a lot cheaper in bulk so they just arrived and this this box is so heavy i don't know if it has the weight on it anywhere but it's super heavy um so i'm gonna open this see what they're like hopefully they are basically what i would order anyway but in bulk rather than on amazon I mean, they look right. <laughs> They're literally just um, the Zen Art brand is the one that I get on with the most. And yeah, there's enough hair to <laughs> last hopefully a long time. So this is it like laid over like an old one and it looks absolutely identical. So happy with these. today I want to rearrange this corner of the room and put the Kallax like back against this wall so that I can access it a lot easier. Like in theory it was nice to be able to like sit here and grab like the albums and stuff but I don't actually do it so I think it would be better to have access to like these um like squares that get blocked by the light and stuff. Mostly there. Um, there's a few things that are not quite right where they're supposed to be. Like this cubby has all my stuff for that event, but I can't tidy that away because I need it. But it's probably not going to stay there forever. <laughs> well, my plants at the top, my little pusheen, and this was um, I can't remember like what they're called, but there's like a range of them you can collect them. Um, and Kat got me this one. She's like a superwoman. And I've got my washi and my albums here. So these are the albums that I use sort of most often. And I don't really go for washi that much, but I'm gonna make it so the top row, are like the ones that I can actually still pull out. I'm gonna make sure these are the ones I use the most of my overlays. And then if I need any lower down, I can move these. It's not ideal, but I literally never go for the washi. So it makes sense to like not put it right in the front. Then this is a bit more random, this is my extra album, some pens in the back, um, some books and there's nothing really in this, I need to sort of decide what I'm going to put in it, like small things. I could actually probably put this in here. This is my pin for the Coffee Monsters Co, but I don't have like a pin board so in it goes. I'll probably end up de that but it's cute. So this one I've got some props behind, again don't really reach for them that much. And then I need to sort of reorganise these drawers but these are going to be oop sheets and sort of miscellaneous things for the shops. So they need to be like front and centre. This one has got paper in it. This one has nothing in it which I did not realise so that's good. This one has old planners, planners I'm not using, um, this light which I would want to keep but I don't have anywhere to put it, so <laughs> that's that. Also some notepads in here as well. Can't get it back in. And then this has spare silhouettes and a laminator. My desk is as before, but a little bit tidier. And then the Raskog is, like it could be better, but this is stuff that needs to go away basically. And then the vacuum is now in here and ignore the cables. It's a little bit of a mess, but it used to be worse, so <laughs> this is good. I've got quite a lot of stickers on my desk. I've been doing oops bags and these are like oops kits ready to be packaged up. So I'm probably going to do that for the rest of the day. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. I upload studio vlogs, plan with me's and other miscellaneous planner videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!